say hello, Roxanne. Hello. This is my friend. We are recording right now and remotely in our my patio. <laughs> so uh, on this chilly night. On this really chilly, chilly November night. Yes. We have we have cocktails here. Now this design is closely resembles a design that I created for the Bar Tata, my private uh, label. And this is the Moroccan inspired um, martini glass. And um, it is currently in design stages right now. So hopefully I'll get that over to you quickly. Uh, currently though, I do have on Amazon uh, four products. One is a keychain holder, a keychain bottle opener, and a USB charger. Another one is a spork. Uh, basically it's a knife, fork, spoon, can opener, and bottle opener all in one. Handy dandy for camping also, but a bar tool. And then I also have a whiskey glass that has a whiskey, scotch, old fashioned, and it holds a cigar. It's a built in cigar rest in the, to the glass. And I Very currently cool. have that on there on Amazon under my bar tata logo. Go get it. A, mm -hmm. Go get it now. I'm getting it. <laughs> and. <laughs> You getting it? I said go get it. Oh, <laughs> she's getting it. I've already been got. <laughs> she she's been had. <laughs> I know, she's been good. done. <laughs> A few girl. times. <laughs> um, where was I saying? Oh yeah. Go so, to the site. Go to so the go go to. Um, go buy it www.tatatopshelf.com and you can get all that stuff is linked up there it is available um, I can ship it out to you and or Amazon either one I have I'm going through right now both fulfillment with, by Amazon and also fulfillment by merchant so I have a cocktail shaker a four piece cocktail shaker currently that um, is active listing and is on Amazon for purchase and I can um, you can find that at that website also www.tatatopshelf.com and that's going to be a four piece copper finish Boston cocktail shaker with mixing glass um, a Hawthorne strainer and a Japanese jigger it has four separate four different measurements so this is a really nice. pretty piece um, oh, it's going to be available for gifts perfect for gifts right now and, and during Christmas time shopping so stay tuned for that and just check that out at um, if you go to um, Amazon you can type in uh, bar tata and it'll come up my products or tata top shelf either one of those will come to my store which will show my pro my products there so okay, okay. Uh, stay tuned make sure you register subscribe and do all that good stuff because I'm gonna come out I have a couple of a lot of products coming out um, either in design stages or they're being shipped currently. I have four uh, wine glasses that are being shipped right now. These are stemless wine glasses with that this sparkle. It's got my logo on there and it's got this really pretty kind of sparkle that fades into the glass. Um, and I'm going to have four separate colors on that and that is coming soon. So hopefully that will be there before the holidays of Christmas or Hanukkah. Nice. Yeah. I have this one right here I already told you about that's uh, currently in design stages and a couple of other things that are in the works right now. So you definitely need to come and check that out. Okay? Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it out. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I have something cool here I'm just going to show you since we are, um, we are kind of, we're still recording. Okay. So there's our podcast. So, um, I'm calling this, this title of this podcast is going to be, um, Talk Time with Tata and Roxy. Yes. Do you like Rocky or Roxy? Rocky. Rocky. I grew up with Rocky. So we're going to do, that's going to be, it could be a regular segment in this, po in this podcast and our journey through the entrepreneur world, which we are both, uh, are embarking, um, into hopefully, mm -hmm. um, you're when, in, I'm getting there. Yes, we are. We need to be on the right mindset to get there. We need to do all the research as much as we can and then just take action on it and just do it, right? Just do it. Yep, just do it. And so that is where we're at with that. So um, 
I know uh, just I know you guys have been some some of you guys have been listening so just stay tuned for you can get, hear the updates on how I go through this whole Amazon thing um, oh one of the good things I did do is I signed up with a mentor kind of and she's really been helping me on um, getting all my answer, all my questions uh, answered, and, and she's really great. She's the Amazon queen, basically, and she's been selling on Amazon for ten years. And so I, I signed up on her membership, so I have a three-year membership with her, and I'm hoping that she really, really can guide me and get me into that, to, to making those figures, those you know, six, seven figures, right? That's what we're all At looking least. for, right? Yeah, because you know, I know when when I retire, I'm gonna go. On a, I'm going to be on a yacht in the Mediterranean at Barcelona. It's a nice place to be. She's going to come and visit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So let's get this go going because I'm already seeing myself out there and I'm already <laughs> She's there. She's got to get I'm, ready. I'm actually running a little late. <laughs> okay. So let's get to the yacht. <laughs> let's get to the yacht. Anyways. So what do you want to talk about, Rockstar? Because every time we get together, we always talk about like, we all kinds of stuff. I know. We we're just about. talking about like, you know. Online Ooh. dating. Online dating was one of the things that that that, that you started you started to do recently. Right. And, struggles know, with the exes. The struggles. Yeah. Well, we, oh, there's plenty of stories there. Please yeah. don't even go there, you know. But um, the the one of the things I think we we kind of touched a lot on. We talk about is is just this the, this whole online dating is just so new for a lot of us. Right. And I've done it for a little while, so right. you know I. And you're kind of over. I'm really kind of at, at that point where I'm done and I'm over it. Although I am on. Um, You're still on. Dating. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't deleted the Your account. Membership <laughs> is active. <laughs> let's just say. Let's just say it's still But active. you've been there, done yes, that. I've been you there, kind done of that. you you've experienced yeah. enough to know. Yeah. What we're up against. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I I feel for your flight and, and whether you want to pursue that journey. But I know I've been there and um, I don't like encourage it. It's just it's just very draining when you go through that. And I've been through it way, just way too long. But I did right. happen to find a few, um, you know, people that, that still are currently in my life. You yeah. Know, I mean, as friends. So it's. Uh, and I want to say it's thing. been a year ish. Maybe a little more that um, I first, the very first time I, um, I, you know, downloaded an app at the uh-huh. online dating app, online dating. Um, and I want to say that I've never like really followed through. Yeah. So I, I sign up for them, get my profile uh-huh. all set up, like a few, swipe a few, you know, left, right, whatever they talk are now. Yeah. Bit. Talk a little bit, and then. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing ever comes uh-huh. away. And then I go off for months. You know. Why do you think that is? Don't you think they do that too? They're doing the exact same thing. I know thing. they got to be they doing are. the exact well, same thing. I think, you know, at our age, uh-huh. 50-ish, you know, ish, ish we are 40, late 40s, ish. let's say, ish. Um, yeah. You know, we're just so deep into our lives where we're busy. Yes. We're busy. Yeah. So, and you actually have to make time you do. to date. Some people don't want to You make have to that make time. time to date. So you have to make time to go online. Yeah. And it, it, there's too many distractions. Right. That's why I fall off for a while. Right. And then I'll say, oh, happens, let me yeah. check my app, you know, let's see. And, and then, then, you know, yeah. and then there's all my messages. And then I'm like, oh, I've got options. <laughs> Response or whatever, my mm-hmm. opener, uh-huh. my opening, and nothing. Like the app says, do you need help with the opening line? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but they're also doing. They're yeah. they're probably not checking now that. They're out. on their three month break. Exactly. Because I because the timing is always yeah. off. Yeah, I, I reach out and nothing. You know the crickets. Yeah, I hear crickets. I hear more because like, oh, you're on one particular site so where. You actually have yes. to do the responding. Yeah. yeah, and I've never been on that because it's. I just find it really difficult to be able to do that. Right. But it actually sounds like pretty ideal because I've always been on the other ones. It eliminates where they always all contact. the crap you don't. Yeah, because yeah. and then they start getting angry at you 
when you don't respond to them and it's right. like do you know how many we have yeah. to deal with it's I was like so guilty you know like yeah it's it's a swipe left or right but there's also an x and a check mark the check mark is yes you're interested the x is like see you later it's kind of the left oh i didn't know that swipe left so um i would like feel guilty when i'm gonna hit the x but they're never gonna know no they're never why gonna would know. you feel guilty though well they like, i'm sorry i don't want they you. will know because you don't they liked that. me and now i'm gone from their likes so that's the way you know so I subconsciously oh my God. would know that this stranger <laughs> that I've never met before oh will God. know that I swipe left. <laughs> and why is that important, though? He has feelings. <laughs> no, he don't. Wanna, he's, he's just horny. He's, he's just horny. He's, he's just swiping all of them. He's just swiping. He was wants it right? to swipe just booty. He's just going boom, boom, yes, 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 yes. It's like, and then it's like, it's like sending out a mass email. And, he, and one of them will respond out of the masses. Right. So it's like, you know, you might as well just swipe them all and, and then go from his chances from there. I think right, that's what right. they do. I, I still, I still like have this hope that there's some genuinely nice men out there, whether they're out there or on the app, I don't so? know, you know, it's, I don't know, I haven't given up on that, that there's still a good guy out there, you know, a genuine good guy that has good intentions, um, okay, well, I hope so, I, I do want to believe that, I want, I, I really, still want to really believe, really believe that, um, I probably you have not your experience, I'm not 99, I'm not 99, I'm probably like 95%, maybe, Hope you're leaving hope. Okay. Yeah. I'm not 100%. Right. Well, that's 95 is not bad. Yeah. Given your experience. Yeah. And what you've taught, what you've dealt with. Yeah. Yeah. I I just I the negative side to it. I I see the way online dating is as a whole. The way it's set up is really set up to fail, because you're when you meet somebody and they really like you, what it is is just a physical attraction, but they can be like a complete jerk find right, that right. out and and it's like you're just keep going through this you're giving yourself to someone every single time and it just keeps the taking vicious cycle taking the, the vicious taking cycle. Five, five. so if you say that it's set up to fail what do you think would have worked better see i mean what other need, options are there we need we need human contact human we need human it, interaction it i get it a human so like the online dating maybe has to have a video <laughs> or you think no. just scratch the whole online and get your butt up and go drive yeah. down to the whatever. You got to meet somebody yeah. in a social setting. Social setting, yeah. Because it just... Now that... And I talk that about that, too. that too. The, the part of not liking the online dating. And I was like, I just want to go to Rayleigh's and be down aisle 10 mm -hmm. and, you know, me and him reach for the <laughs> can of corn <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> You can't finish that without laughing. And our eyes connect. <laughs> and you got little stars and the in bells there. And the bells are going. And the oh symphonies. And then what happened? Then you woke up and realized you were laying next no, to No, and he's like, here, you take <laughs> the last piece of corn. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping oh. for. That's what um, I'm still like. Um, the hopeless romantic in me is still like that could happen. Yeah. Maybe not like like that, but <laughs> you need to be out. Right. And I think through friends. Well, with my luck, I'll get like rear-ended, and this guy gets out it. of the car, and I'm like starstruck, you know. And our eyes connect, and he's like, "I'm so sorry for you." <laughs> you know what? Though I don't think something it's, weird will come out of it. You know. I don't think it's like it's like there's a point where you're waiting for this to happen. I think what you needs to change is you, your, your receptors need to change and, and you need to change in your mind and yeah. open yourself and make right. yourself available right. to that. Once and I'm not, I don't think I am. Don't, Cause I'm like, exactly. okay, I'm single. I've been single for this long mm -hmm. and you know, these you're, are all my issues. You create, you create your blockage <laughs> right, and right. stuff. And until you I'm not sending out that, the good aura yeah. into the world. And then when that, when that yeah. vibration is actually yeah. out I there, have it. he will come. I have it. Yeah. I have that energy in It's kind of like a beacon. Yeah. When you open up that beacon, the, the battery's dead. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's in many ways. The battery's dead on the beacon. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's, it's almost dead because it does send off. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> little, that's, you, know, it's you, know, you know when the fire alarm, when your 
battery's going low. <laughs> it starts chirping. <laughs> In the middle of the night, you're like, shut up. <laughs> so it's a little beep. It has a faint. Yeah. Okay. S- small signal, but yeah, the battery needs to be changed. It's changed, exactly. <laughs> He's new battery. You just don't want to go get that ladder and climb all the way up there. And change it. You know, unscrew oh, it. No, it's just a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. So right now what you're just doing is going online and finding that somebody who's really just temporary. When yeah. those guys are out there saying, look, I'm going to keep it real. This is what I want. Yeah. That's actually the truth. Yes. Everyone else is just fooling themselves to think right. that a dating app would actually bring people together that are... Like, I'm not saying it has not happened. Right, right. But at some point, you have to be, it's not because of that. That's just, it's just your mind opening up to I that. think the other thing we talked about once is okay. l- the three long-term relationships that I've had. Yes. I, I have, I had prior knowledge of the person. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Each time. So you so, had that human connection yes, already. Yes, that. That and I just knew about them. Yeah, I knew yeah. history about them. Yeah. That we had mutual friends, or yeah. there was something I knew already about them. Where right. meeting new people, it's a stranger it that is. I know nothing, nothing about. about. I know knowledge. zero, and exactly. building that and gaining that trust and all that, and it's who, of who you are and what you're about and where you've been. Right. And I love that meme. What do they call memes? Memes, those funny call, little things, right? I call them memes. Memes. The memes. The memes. The memes. So there's this funny one that says, um, you know, nowadays you have to ask guys, are you married? Or are you in a relationship? And if they say no, say, does the other person you're with think they're in a relationship uh-huh. with you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they do. But I don't. Right? It's like. Or when they say, are you married? And you, you, and they say, when I walk through my my house I right, am right because his wife is there you yeah. know what I mean but well, I think on the outside you're not well no because and then there's the flip side mm-hmm. you know from my experience mm-hmm. of people approaching my ex yeah. is hey are you married yeah are you happy uh-huh. happily married right like yeah. that makes a difference right and, and, and a lot of <laughs> so it works it both does. ways yeah it works it both does. ways because there's yeah. some there are there's some women yeah definitely scandalous there's women some scandalous women, women out there as well yeah so I mean, it's really tough when you do the online things because... Yeah, I do, and when I do, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, and when I do find that person, I want to, even with my, my hurts and pains and history and what I've been through, I want to trust this person enough to, is there going to be temptation? Yes. Is there going to be flirting going on? Is there going to be, uh, are they going to be faced with situations that that can get them into trouble, you know, all of that. I'm not naive enough to know that it's not not going to happen, yeah. right? But I want to be, like, so comfortable with the person to know they're going to handle it. Yeah. They're going to take care I of business. Trust them. Yeah. I trust them. They're going to take care of business. Yeah. They're going to say, you know, oh, it feels good to be flirted. I yeah. get it. You know, uh-huh. flirt it, that somebody flirts with them yeah. or whatever. Ego. Boost their ego, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But yeah. they're going to say, right. you know, I'm married, you know, or, or just walk away from the situation Still. or, you know. To feel secure like yeah. that is really hard. Right. It's really hard because yeah. I don't think they, they do enough to... Yeah, because they're still going to... Because the I guess the there's two options, to or two other options where they can feed into it and play along with the flirting or just, just enough not to cross the line. Yeah. So is that okay? You know, you got to ask yourself, mm-hmm. are you able to tolerate that stuff? Are you, are you talking? Maybe? Right, right. So what are you comfortable with? Or, you know... Obviously, the worst option is that they feed into it and cross the line. So, yeah. you know, are you, That's not good. do you draw the line to say, no, flirting is not okay or temptation, whatever it may be, you know? Yeah. And I'm going to stand, you know, I'm going to stand firm and I'm in a relationship, I'm married, whatever it may be, and I'm not going to cross that line. Or right. are you secure enough to say, okay, they may flirt back just a little, but it's not a big deal, mm-hmm. you know? That's a yeah, that's a tough one, but yeah. don't you think, though, that whatever kind of flirting they can do, they're yeah. still coming back or coming home to you, right. and it's really about how you s- your security is. Right, right. right? Isn't yeah. it? So there are going to be women who are going to be not, not like, oh, you can't do that, you can't right, do that. Yeah. It's only because they're, they're insecure. insecure. Yeah. I've that. had, I was, you know, 
obviously married to your cousin for 20 years, mm -hmm. and okay. I had plenty of men flirt with me. Mm -hmm. Would I flirt back? I guess that's open for discussion, right? Because I had this one guy friend at work who, he talked about his wife and kids. I talked about, you know, yes. my ex and my kids all the time. We knew each other, each other's home life so well. Yeah. Um, would he flirt every now and then? Yeah, he would. Uh -huh. But Are it was them? it, I always thought of it as like a um, innocent flirting, but... Would my partner be okay with that, right? Yeah. And so we would joke, like, we would call each other work husband, work wife. Yeah. yeah. But I never actually told my partner, yeah. you know, yeah. that was our joke. Yeah. Because, you know, then the, it's like, the, you don't want to open up a can yeah. of worms that doesn't need to be. Right, especially at work. Right, right. Create something that's Did it ever cross the line? Never. Right. Never. But maybe he was testing it. It could have been, it could and have, I didn't yeah. feed into it. Yeah. See, and that's where that's I was like, where you just yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. didn't want to ruin anything, yeah. but I mean, it crossed his yeah. mind. Yeah, right, because so. I might have, I might have done like, oh, look at you, you look good today, mm -hmm. you look nice, you smell good, you know, is that flirty, is yeah. that inappropriate? I no, mean, it's a compliment. Yeah, right? yeah. But I think it's not, I don't think it's what you said, I think it's more the attention that they're mm -hmm. getting, like, right. oh, you're noticing kind yeah. of thing, and yeah. that's what, that, that they're mm -hmm. kind of thinking that they can take it the wrong way too. Right. So maybe he thought that you might be. Yeah. See, and I might come when back. Talk, right. When he talks about his family and his friends and stuff, or his kids and stuff, that, and you think everything is happy, it's it's actually really, there's probably some problems right, there. Right, right. So it, it's, there's another thing that he's hiding. He's hiding this whole other, yeah. you know, he's in a relationship that he doesn't need to be in. And so. my way of squashing the, um, the, Whatever the flirting or whatever yeah. was going on was like, if he said something that I felt was a little flirty or yeah. kind of inappropriate, I would just come back like, "You're such a dork, shut up," you know. <laughs> just that would squash it that way, you know. Oh, okay, so like, you make, make him feel funny. dumb or yeah. make him, yeah, yeah, not really make him feel dumb, but make it funny. Yeah, make it funny. Yeah, you're, you're so really stupid. Really shut up. You know, tw I that's how it was I, a tough situation, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. That's how I diffused every it. single yeah. time. And humor usually yeah. kind of yeah. helps. So. Well, it was, See? There you go. that was our show, and um, I hope you guys liked it. You guys stay tuned for other sessions, because I will have definitely, me and Rock got a lot of stuff to talk about, yeah. so we, we have will about have, 30 years of history. we got all kinds of <laughs> advice for men out there who are trying to date women. Um, over 40. Over 40, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not kids, because the, the millennials, I don't know anything about, um, but definitely, you know. Stay tuned, listen, subscribe. Don't forget, I'm going to have some show notes um, underneath there that, that uh, links to my website um, <clears throat> So and some sponsors, okay? So, hope you like the show. Say goodbye. Good night.